Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 3, Lesson 6, Implementing Sound. In this lesson, we'll explain sound implementation process using Unreal Engine. We'll define commonly used functions when using sound in Unreal Engine. And then we'll demonstrate the process for adding sounds to our scene. Sound files are imported as a sound wave. And these can be played directly or they can be made into a sound queue. And a sound queue has a node-based editing system similar to the blueprints graph. There's a lot of customization that could be done with sound queues to get the sounds to be exactly the way you want them for your game. We won't spend a lot of time on the sound queue system in this lesson, but if sound is something that interests you, I highly recommend you do some additional research on your own. Once the sound assets are in our game, we need to establish a way to play them in our level. There's a few nodes that can be used for this. Play sound plays a sound directly, and this is great for UI sounds or sounds that do not require any attenuation or any modification. And play sound at location allows the sound to be played at a specific location in a level, so a sound that you would want to have some spatial requirement to it. For instance, in a shooting game, you may want the sound of firing the weapon to be affected by the distance to the player. So weapons fired a distance away don't sound as loud as a weapon fired at close range. And play sounds are great, but they are limited because once a, a sound has been started, you don't really have any control over it. Whereas spawning a sound returns a reference to that sound that can be used elsewhere. And there's also a spawn sound at location. And spawn sounds allow you to turn on and off sounds stop them, pause them, and have a lot more control over it. So whenever possible, I try to use spawn sound in place of play sound. Let's get some sounds set up in our game. I'm back here in my level, and what I want is to have a nice ambient sound playing in the background. And our game is gonna be set at night, so I was looking for a sound of a forest atmosphere at night. There's an excellent resource for getting free sounds, and that is freesound.org. And they have a lot of sounds on here that can be used for your game. And the search function is actually pretty good. If we type in something like night forest, we get some good results that we can use for our game. There's also a few other resources that can be used as well. Mixkit.co has a lot of great sounds as well for your project. And they do have some paid ones you can use if you wanted to buy the license. They have a subscription-based model that allows you to get as many sounds as you want every month. Similarly, epidemicsound.com has a payment model where you can pay a subscription and get access to all of their audio files. And when it comes to music, I also found one called bensound.com that has a lot of sounds that you can use for your game if you wanted to get some music. And of course, there's always the Epic Marketplace where there are a lot of sound packs that you can look through and the prices are generally pretty low on these. And one benefit of this is that if you buy these asset packs, you'll always have access to these sounds. So for my game, I did find an ambient sound and I imported it into my game. And I want this ambience to be playing in the background while the player plays the game. So I have the level blueprint open for my level and off of begin play, I'm gonna type spawn sound at location. I'll find the sound that I downloaded. And then for the location, we can leave it at 000. Or if you remember, the level blueprint can access any actor in the level. So here I have my player start selected. And if I'm in my level blueprint and I right click, I can get a reference to player start and then say, get actor location and plug this location vector value right into here. And remember, here we can get a reference to this sound, so we can save this as a variable to be used later. If we drag this off and promote to variable, we can call this ambient sound. Let's compile, and now when I play my level, I'll hear that ambient sound in the background. And one more thing, in this spawn sound at location, we can adjust some settings as we're starting the sound. So if you want it to be a little bit quieter, you can adjust the volume, you can adjust the pitch. So I'm gonna lower the volume on mine by half and play it again. And now I think it's a better fit. 
So at this time, I recommend that you find an ambient sound for your game, either with one of the free resources that I shared or from an asset pack and get that into your game and get it playing in the background. And I think the ambience for this level is really starting to come together. So now it's time to start building out our game. In the next lesson, we're gonna set up a first person controller. And that will allow us to start moving around our map. 